Hey, what's up guys, hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the best recording and streaming settings for OBS. Hope you guys enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. If you go on YouTube and search for the best recording settings for OBS, you're going to find plenty of videos. Now there is a major issue with all of these videos. It's not that they're bad, but they're just too long. This video is going to be as short as possible and I'm going to be covering everything you need to know to make great videos with OBS. So let's jump right into it. Now, as you can see, I'm currently recording, so a lot of settings are going to be grayed out and I cannot change them because I'm currently recording. So the first thing that you want to do, of course, is click on the settings menu and let's start off with the video section. So the two sections we're going to be playing around with are video and output. So the base canvas resolution is the resolution of your monitor. So if you have a 1080p monitor, as I do, the base resolution is going to be 1080p. But if you have a 4K monitor and you you want to upload 1080p videos then your main base resolution is going to be 4k and you're going to set the output to 1080p now if you have a very bad computer and you just want to upload to 720p then you're just going to select 1280 by 720 i cannot show you the presets right here because i'm currently recording the next tab is downscale filter i just recommend you to use the second preset so the in between one you can also use the best one or the lowest one but i just recommend you using by cubic for the fps i definitely recommend you to record in 60 fps because if you're going to upload to youtube i definitely recommend you to use 60 fps you can also use 30 fps but it's way more laggy and it's not very appealing now let's move on to the output section and i'm going to start off with recording instead of streaming because i think most of you guys are here for the recording and as I told you, I want this to be as quick as possible. So what I want to choose the type is standard. Also, I forgot to talk about the output mode. Make sure to select advanced to see all the settings. Uh, so the type is standard, the recording path, you're going to browse for a folder where all your videos are going to be stored in and the recording formats. I definitely recommend you to uh, record your videos in MB4. The audio track, depending on how many tracks you have. Uh, in my case, I have two tracks, so my mic and my desktop audio so i have one and two and this is where it gets interesting so if you have a pc with a dedicated gpu nvidia or amd you're going to have a different encoder than x264 so if you go ahead and click in here and you have an nvidia gpu you're going to find nvidia nvnc if you don't have nvidia nvnc and you have an amd gpu you're going to have another encoder i have no idea how it's called but you want to select that but if you only have integrated graphics and only a cpu then you're going to use x264 unfortunately it's going to use your cpu so the performance is not going to be that great but i'm going to show you some settings that work pretty well now let's move on to the most important section so in the rate control we have different settings we have cbr which stands for constant bitrate cqp i have no idea what it stands for vbr which is variable bitrate And lossless, basically it's going to record your videos without losing any quality. But the video is going to be huge. I mean the video size. So like you're going to record a video that is two minutes and it's going to be several gigabytes. If I'm correct, maybe it's more, maybe it's less, but it's something tremendous that you don't want to use. So let's start off with CBR. If you have a decent computer, go ahead and use 40,000 kilobytes per second. If you have a like medium to high end, I recommend you to go around these values only if you have a dedicated GPU. If you have not a dedicated GPU, you can just use 5000 or you can use the default value, which is 2500. And I don't think it's very good. But the thing is that you need to test it yourself. You need to hop in into a game and just record some gameplay. And you want to move your mouse a lot. Like, for example, you're recording an FPS game and you want a lot of motion so that you can see if the bitrate is good or not. And the thing is, 
if the gameplay is very pixelated but you can still increase the bitrate then go ahead but if it's pixelated and if you start to increase the bitrate and the video is going to be laggy then you can just go ahead and uh, use another presets you can use cqp and the best level that you can use is 15. 15 works very well i have no idea what cqp stands for but the best level to use is 15. you can also use a variable bitrate so if you remember for constant bitrates let's say that you want to use at around 3000 right but maybe you actually want to use between 3000 and 5000 so this is where variable bitrate comes in as you can see it actually automatically chose 5000 so it's going to use bitrate between these two so it's going to be a variable bitrate between this and this the keyframe interval you can just use the default setting and for the presets this will affect the quality only if you're using x264 if you're using a dedicated gpu then this won't matter that much the best option to use if you have a dedicated gpu is just low latency quality and if you have have x264 you're going to be using either max performance or performance if it works pretty well you can just go ahead and increase a bit until it matches what you're searching for now as you can see i'm just talking about the common values that you should use but it doesn't mean that it will work for you you have to go ahead and play around with these values for the profile i recommend you to use high if it doesn't work you can just decrease until baseline but not really actually main is the best option so there we go now let's move on to the streaming section and in here it's quite different so in my case as you saw i was using a bitrate of 40,000. you can also use a bitrate of maximum 90,000 if you have like a pretty good computer but for the streaming section it's not going to be the same thing like even if your computer does support a good bitrate it won't really work so for the constant bitrate even if you have a decent computer the max value that you should use is 9000 uh, now it really depends on your computer but the default setting is usually around this and it works pretty well if you want to stream at around 720p 60 fps you can increase it to 4000 and i think that this is actually the best setting now if it's quite pixelated you can go ahead and increase it more and more but it really depends on your hardware Next, we have the CPU usage presets. I think this will affect more if you're using X264. And actually, if I'm using NVIDIA NVNC, which I cannot switch in here because I'm recording, I think this is this is not going to appear in here. But basically, this preset will affect the percentage usage. As you can see right here on the bottom right corner, it currently uses, in my case, which is actually pretty decent. For the profile, the best option is high, but if it doesn't work for you, you can just go ahead and use main and i think that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed i covered everything you need to know now if you want to record games of course use game capture if you're only recording your desktop then use display capture it's actually pretty easy but hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one goodbye